When it comes to exciting electric car startups, it's China, the US, and even Holland who have stolen many of the headlines in recent years. But there's something unique and exciting happening in Germany right now. Hidden behind the German giants such as VW, Mercedes, Audi, and BMW is a new wave of electric car companies that are seeking to shake up the status quo. What's interesting is that these companies all have a fair few similarities in what they're looking to do. They're all choosing utility as their number one directive, eschewing the current trend for making stylish, unnecessarily oversized and overpriced electric cars. Efficiency, affordability and utility are at the forefront of this exciting new German movement, and these are some of our core values here at Electroheads too. So, Electroheads, let's take a closer look at what's happening in Germany. Nach Deutschland wir fahren. <laughs> I don't know how to... <laughs> First up, I want to take a closer look at a company called Electric Brands DE. We've actually featured one of their products, the X-Bus, in a recent video on five exciting affordable electric cars that are coming out soon, which you can check out up here. The X-Bus is a modular utility vehicle fit for an electric future. Isn't it fabulous? And look, it has interchangeable bodies, which means that this beautiful babe of a car has as many costume changes as Beyonce performing live. Switch from a convertible to off-roader. Pick up truck to camping bus in just a few steps. Bay, you better watch your back because there is a new kid on the block. And it's flashy too. With its solar panels, the X-Bus follows a bit of a trend in German EV startups, making it so hot right now. And one that we think makes so much sense. Solar panels alone can't power heavy electric cars for hundreds of miles, but they can give a car dozens of miles or kilometers of range each day, which is perfect for city use. Not only does that make them incredibly energy efficient using the natural resources of the sun rays, but it also means that you get free charging. <laughs> oh, that puts a totally different perspective on it, mate. Come on. No energy company can ever own the sun unless things get really dystopian. The big question on everyone's lips with an exciting new EV startup is, will this thing ever actually go into production? Electric brands plan on saving money in the short term by using a contract manufacturer to build its first 150,000 units rather than building its own plant. The company has also claimed that it has strong interest from traditional car dealership networks to sell the car, which, if true, is an enviable position to be in. We envy you, man. But there's something special about the X-Bus that gives it an advantage that could help see it succeed. There is no traditional steering column in the car's design, meaning that the steering wheel is connected to the car's front wheels only via electronics, almost like you're using a video game sim rig. This makes it cheaper and easier to build both left and right hand drive versions for different markets. The thing we love about the X-Bus is its utilitarianism. Is that right? Utilitarianism, yeah. <laughs> the thing we love about the X-Bus is the utilitarianism and this theme also applies to another German brand called Even Motors. Even? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Wilhelm! <laughs> yeah, Wilhelm, you're killing it! Even have built the A-Car, which similarly to the X-Bus comes in various configurations on the same platform. On the website they ask, how can the A-Car make your everyday life easier, support you and relieve you? <laughs> what? I'm not sure I ever want a car to relieve me, if I'm honest, but <laughs> I am a big fan of the A-Car, which started shipping in 2020. Even have built a strong contender for a work vehicle that could replace diesel guzzling pickups and vans. With the ability to take one ton payloads and with its all wheel drive powertrain, it's fairly robust and could be useful in construction and farming. It's 200 kilometer range and its top speed of 70 kilometers effectively limits it to that sort of use anyway. This is not a cross country delivery vehicle by any means. It's a local workhorse, but it follows a trend in German EV startups of designing vehicles that serve one particular purpose incredibly well. Another cool extra to note is that the truck is a rolling power bank. Just like the Honda e and its unique external three pin socket, the A-Car can supply 230 volt devices with up to three kilowatts of continuous power. So, for example, for all you sheep farmers out there, you can transport your herd and plug in your shears all with one vehicle. Or just plug in a toaster or even a guitar amp if you want. <laughs> You're right, who on earth would be so silly as to do such a thing like that? <laughs> But how out of pocket would you be if you bought one, I hear you cry? Well, 
prices start at 28,900 euros. But this vehicle qualifies for the 9,000 euros environmental bonus in Germany. So after deducting the subsidy, that means the basic version costs less than 20,000 euros. Wow. And then you can build up as you see fit, adding loads of awesome additions to suit whatever style of vehicle you need. The A-car is as German as you can get, from its conception at the Technical University of Munich to its creation in Bavaria. That's right, it's even manufactured in Deutschland too. Almost a year after the start of production, the demand for this electric 4x4 commercial vehicle is high. It's a real life success story that started from humble beginnings as a research project that has come to fruition without any involvement from Tesla or Chinese manufacturers. Nice job, my friend. Nice job, my friend. Ich nichten lichten. Oh, guten Tag, Klein Eilish. Tolle Hut. Well, she has definitely beaten me to it in getting over to Germany. Great hat, by the way. And she has a point. Please do make sure to subscribe and like if you can, because it really helps the channel. All right, let's move on. When Scion Motors announced their flagship EV, the Sono, it caused quite a stir among EV journalists and investment journalists alike. Some even dubbed the Scion as a Tesla rival, which feels a little premature to me. You underestimate my power! Don't try it! But while Elon Musk has shown somewhat of a disinterest in adding solar panels to electric cars, Scion have been one of the brands pioneering the use of solar cells on their car, and they're claiming an incredibly impressive spec on the Sono. This car can reportedly travel up to 112 kilometers purely off solar charge in a single week. If you live and work in or around the city and your commute is only a few kilometers, then at least in the summer months, this would mean you'd rarely have to plug in and charge. If you do choose to plug in, you'll get up to 305 kilometers of range from a full charge, which might not sound phenomenal, but when you consider that this can be topped up and extended by the solar panels, suddenly you're looking at Renault 5 or VWID life levels of range. This vampiric looking vehicle that paradoxically feeds off the light is an incredibly inconspicuous EV that if it all goes to plan, could put a serious amount of pressure on its competition. The sales price is reported to be 25,500 euros, but don't forget about the 9K environmental bonus. If that can be applied, then you're looking at a total of 16.5,000 euros? That's insane. And according to their website, the Sono is ready for pre-order and set to commence production come 2023. And you can have it in any color, as long as it's black. But let's not throw too much shade on their single choice of shade. There is good reason for it. No, the designers are not from the iconic German rock band Tokyo Hotel. It's instead a very functional choice to conceal the 248 solar cells wrapped around the roof and doors, which are in fact an all-round cheaper option that keeps costs down as painting and pressing is a much more complex and pricey job compared to sticking on some solar panels. And the general public have shown a huge amount of interest in the Sono. It's reported that 14,000 private reservations have already been made. For the modest down payment of as little as 500 euros, you're already halfway to owning one. So when we take a step back and look at the bigger picture, what does this all really mean? Well, it means a lot of things actually. Functional utility EVs are being prioritized for a reason. It is a lucrative market. As we all shift to electric in the coming decades, the demand for usability and affordability is going to skyrocket. So rather than go with the grain of the bigger manufacturers battling to create the flashiest inbuilt tech as standard and the punchiest spec, these smaller companies are tapping into the less sexy, more practical offerings. Because in reality, isn't that what most of the population need? If that's not the case, then how on earth did the Fiat Multipla become so popular? Step back, I think I'm gonna vomit! <laughs> Jokes aside, if these smaller companies can create a vehicle with hundreds of kilometers of range that offers a huge range of functionality options in the 20,000s and not look like the Fiat Multipla, <laughs> then that is an incredible round the back way of outing all these huge manufacturers that are making you pay through the nose for an all round average EV. It just goes to show the pressure is now less on the smaller companies that need to step up to stand out because the product is already doing that for them. Like David and Goliath, could the little guys topple over the giants with their functional weaponry and pebble prices? Let me know down in the comments which EV you'd opt for out of the three, or if I've missed any sehr gut German startups that slip through the net, throw them at me. 
And if you've enjoyed this video, despite my terrible German accent, then please do give us a like as it really helps boost our video on the almighty YouTube algorithm and it can really help us reach more people like you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.